one on the wall. Okay. I'm going to start by stripping this section really carefully. Um, as you can see, it's already coming off anyway, quite easily. Um, they actually overlapped it back in the day. So we'll start with the top one and work our way back. Only the edge that's stuck here. So you can probably just very carefully lift it off. can see it came off really easily uh, that's the three panels done already the walls below lovely condition actually not too bad they're just not very nice looking with all the dirt and I guess this is the old glue this brown whatever they used back in the day or maybe they used rabbit skin glue I'm not quite sure but it'd been on there so long it was very easy to come off in fact when we moved in the reason the way if you look down to the stairwell, the reason there's no wallpaper up there is because it just kept falling down over time. When you listen to that in the middle of the night, you just want to get it down. So that is the reason there's no wallpaper up there. It wasn't in very good condition either. You look like you found something else. Well, I'm no farmer. I'm a city girl, not a country girl. Who are? <laughs> but I'm guessing that trough there was for the food. I would have thought so. And these troughs here, because they've got a pipe that flows through into the other one as well, that's for the water. Yes. So they're on a, a system that's broken that one. A bit like a toilet, it's a stock. So as it, yeah, as the water as comes the water in. Goes down, or up, you know yeah, what I correct. Mean. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Yeah, yeah. Up, down, up, down. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll leave them for your mum as well. She can have uh, her own water supply. Yeah, Other yeah. than that, oh, although there's a hole in my bucket. There's a hole in your world. Yeah. I think we're going to have to get some muck in there. Not quite sure what's happened there, but that's easy enough to resolve. Can't be any worse than that uh, wall that I repaired outside for the council that still sat there and they've done nothing with it. But we won't say any more than that. Right, let's get the rest of this out then and uh, see what's underneath this mug. Clearly you can see from earlier on when I came in. Uh, I still need to remove all of that, but I can do that tomorrow morning. One thing I wanted to quickly say was, so we've got the cobbles there, but unfortunately we've discovered that someone at some time has concreted over. Obviously there must be a reason they wouldn't just have concreted on top of cobbles. They'd have done the whole lot. So temporary fix the door. Temporary, at least it's shuts for the moment. Um, 
as you saw earlier, the all my windsurfing gear all out the way. But we still got the cobbles, thankfully, here as well. So uh, a good day, um, a good workout, which is making me feel a little bit better now. Odds and ends again tomorrow in here before um, I actually can get around to starting the boot challenge of the hallway. Well, as you can see, all cleared. That was definitely a job worth doing. Uh, we just got ourselves another room, even if um, we use it for storage again. But uh, as I was showing um, in an earlier video, it's concrete, but it's concrete all the way to the back, all the way. So that's not totally a bad thing. Uh, if I'm gonna use this bit as a workshop, I don't have to worry about tripping over cobbles, but um, on the negative side, it's a bit of a shame really, because the cobbles, as you can see, how gorgeous they really are. But I'm gonna go and get a quick snack, freshen up, and then I'll come back in here, give it a sweep, uh, and then bring a few things in here. And I believe Carol's working away in the hallway, so we'll go and join her in a second. Uh, but yes, what a morning. Right, that's another thing off my to-do list. Uh, next job, get uh, this kitchen sorted out, get the timbers over there that I've slowly seen to be collecting. We have all sorts. I uh, got the old parquet left over. Well, it's rotten actually, but I don't want to bin it because there might be bits of that I, I could use. It is good oak. So I'll get uh, organised here. Carol's over there now, just uh, having a, a runce round with the broom, doing a trigger. Between us, we can try and get uh, as much of this over there as possible. We might even be able to see now what the kitchen uh, is going to look like. Well, I'll see how she's getting on. Ha <laughs> ha Funny girl. She's having a laugh. Well, as long as she's not around. I thought toothbrush wars were bad enough, but I think we're gonna go into bed wars now. She did say she was gonna put straw down as a mattress, so I suppose she's upgraded me slightly. Very funny. Let me see if I can find her. That's not doing too badly. That wall is completely stripped. And... I'm just about to pull this strip off, but there's there's a bow in this wall, which is always I've always been curious about. I'm not sure if you can actually see it or not. But I'm wondering if the plaster's blown under there. So let's have a look. This piece isn't worth saving, so we'll just rip that off. So let's see what's going on underneath this bit here. Blown there, so that will need bashing out and replastering. Find out the reason why. Over here, you can see some old, more of the original old paper. And at the top, there's an original old freeze, little board that went around. And I'm wondering if they, at one stage, had a border around the centre. If you look across to that wall there, where the brown stripes are, maybe there was a, a wallpaper border that went round there. Because you can also see the plumb lines that go horizontal as well.
Oh, let's go see how Carol's getting on now. I've finished my my job. Ooh. Have fun. Yay. You're making a bit of a mess, aren't you? Hope you're going to clear up after yourself. Some Is of it... it's not worth saving. No, you did wonder that. I've rolled up some. I've put some down there. Don't stand on that. Okay. Nice original wallpaper. That was under... Well, it wasn't really covered up, to be honest. Oh, okay. Right. I did notice some of this seems to be... Well, some of it's white on the back. I'm guessing they're the ones that maybe come off easy. And then you see certain wallpaper that's just blue. Actually, those white bits. Yeah. Are some old poly, some old filler. These rolls are really good. Oh, well. I think they just need a good wash, a light sand, and they're ready to go. So, any indication what that brown... So, I'm thinking there was a freeze across there, a wallpaper freeze. Oh, certainly. Because at the top of... This paper, there was a tiny freeze about that big. Right, so something matched in. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. You'd be thinking, and like. Also thumb lines look. <sighs> so, um, there's a few people putting comments that were saying that this paper obviously not original. Obviously, we didn't think that. But they were saying maybe 1970. So clearly, before he. Bought, no, no, probably when it's he bought it. Definitely gone in, gone up. Yeah. Before the heating system went in. Right. Okay, well, that's before him, before our previous owners for sure, because I can't even imagine you to put the heating system in here at all. Maybe the family that um, are coming around. Yes. That grew up here can shed some light on the age of it. Looking forward to that. Okay, I came in to make a drink and then I'm going to go, I've all finished over there, all done. So I'm just going to go and um, give it a bit of a hoover and then we can decide what to do with it. That's all the paper off of this wall. I'm just going to go and dig away at this plaster. It's blown, so it has to come off before we can do any preparation. Just take it back to where it's loose, make sure it's hardened around the edges. Right, the rest of that seems pretty good intact. So we'll get some plaster on there before we go any further and I'll have to do the same to this section here. You can see that's completely blown and oh what a mess. Because that is blown back to the waterland orb. So that's going to need some bonding as well. So Carol and I, we're still not feeling brilliant, so we're just gonna do fill in jobs tonight. Um, so I did say to Carol, and I mentioned in the video uh, on Wednesday that uh, I've taken this original door from the front of the coach house. and see if I can reuse it actually, so I'm just gonna see if I can make it fit the doorway there. That's temporary. It will do us for the moment, because it's gonna be a long time before we get in here and properly do the coach house, but at least it'll make it more secure and then um, it'll look nicer as Carol said when she's sat in there with her champagne in the pool she can admire the new door that's going back in so uh, assuming that uh, it's pretty solid which it looks it when I lifted it <laughs> we'll get that underway well, I've managed to get the uh, original lock off that door bit of a sorry state but I reckon that'll come up nicely and won't be great to use it uh, on the door I'm trying to do at the moment or 
But yeah, so uh, in my trusty vice, bit of elbow grease and see if we can get this to uh, look as good as new. Well, hopefully that's going all right, actually. I think I can make this uh, strong enough to uh, to temper use on the uh, door for us for the moment. Unfortunately, I've got to stop now. I've got to have a look at the van. I've got to finish cutting the lawn. And then cal has got another job for me to do uh, before tonight. So I'll have to come back to this tomorrow, but I just thought I'd let everyone know. Touch wood. Literally, we could sort ourselves out at all. Let's come up all right actually so that's the original lock lock oh, Shannon's cleaning up yeah more than happy with that and uh now all i need to do i haven't got the uh mechanism for it to go into here's what i did earlier so all i'm going to do is just make a piece out of oak which a lot of them do that'll be fine i put that on the side of the door and uh hey presto we're there i can get on with another job now that looks like you're researching. Something just suddenly came to me. What, an inspiration? Yeah, bear with me. How do you think? Oh, oh! What do you think of this? Go on then, fill us in. What is, what is this? This is... This is Laura Ashley yeah. Summer Palace. Okay. Birds. I'm not a big bird lover on wallpaper, but it suddenly came to me. Oh, wouldn't that be really pretty? Colour-wise, because not always the computer screen's good. Well, that was quite pretty. That's duck egg. But then, did you hear me go, ooh, just a minute ago? Uh, I'll have to come back to you in a minute. Maybe it was that one. That I prefer to what you showed me earlier. I'm still thinking of blues and creams. Right. But is that going to be too dark? A bit like the plates on the rack. I need to find this one that made me go, ooh. <laughs> so maybe you should clear the room. She always does this to me. As soon as I turn around, she says, I found it. That's the one that made me go, ooh. It is the same one, but different colour. As in what colour? Is that a, a white? But oh, then, OK. Hold on. When you look at it there, all I can see is dark blotches. Maybe it's my eyes. It's the birds. They just look like dark blotches. So I instantly went off it. Yeah, OK. How about this one? Not sure that's too much. It's quite lot of information going on there for me perhaps i'm old see i don't dislike things like that i can't believe i just said that to everyone <laughs> <laughs> okay but i am still thinking those colors mm. although that's a bit dull there now so where's your mood board to look at in my head yeah i know that's the trouble you designers only you can see it, none of us can. White, that'll brighten it up, look. Yeah, oh, as I said, I'm not a big lover of her pink, but what do I know? I just eat a hammer every day. I keep playing. Yeah, I think that's the best anyway, way. Anyway, back to what I was doing. But again, samples, we could get some samples, couldn't we? Get samples. Okay, I'll leave you with that.